I thought summer in Alice Springs would be just so dry, 40 degrees every day. Got the fuel light on and Bryce is adamant that we're gonna make it to Alice Springs. We've got 10, 10 k's to go and I reckon we'll be fine. YouTube will give us a strike for that. Oh no, we picked up a budgie. But I reckon they would have been pooping their pants last night. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. For the next few days, we are gonna be heading out to one of our favorite national parks in the Northern Territory, which is the West McDonald Ranges. At the moment, the plan is to camp at Ormonston Gorge for three nights, just weather permitting, because we have had quite a bit of rain around the last few days here in Alice Springs. Hopefully everything is all open and there should be plenty of water to go swimming. We're just heading out of the big four in Alice Springs and we're heading on our way to Ormonston Gorge, but it's super gloomy today. We had a heap of rain overnight, so hopefully the water holes will be nice and fresh for a good swim later. So sad, we just cleaned the caravan and car yesterday and now it's gonna be dirty again. <laughs> Maybe we'll just have a little bit of a look to see first. Do you want me to turn your hazards on? I've already put on. Oh. <laughs> hmm. We're probably fine, but we can't see the marker because it's like on the angle. Good thing it's not crocodiles anymore. Yeah. It's not long so far. Nah. Nah. I guess if it's not knocking you over, it's not going to knock the camera. That's over. it. That's it. What do they say? Be flood wise. So we're being flood wise. So pretty out here. This is coming into Ormiston Gorge. There is so much water, which is a really good sign because swimming is going to be awesome. Let's just hope we don't have too much rain in the next few days. Otherwise, we'll be camping out here for a while, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> The campsite's in Northern Territory. You just rock up, find a spot, and then pay. It's got envelopes usually. So you just fill things out, pop one on your car um, in the front window, and then put it back in here. So it's $10 an adult here, which is a little bit more expensive than lots of the national parks in NT. I thought they're usually either $4 an adult or like $6 an adult. It's fine. It's still really cheap for the facilities that you get. And we're right next to the swimming hole and all the walks. This is pretty cool though. You've got a barbecue area. You've got toilets and showers up there. I don't know if they're hot showers. And look at that, USB ports. Right, might be cooking dinner up here tonight, I reckon. This looks nothing like it did last time. Wow. That's crazy. So if we're going to do this gorge walk, I think we're going to have to do a gorge swim. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Didn't have to walk through any water to go for a walk last time. Nah, this whole thing is dry. Yeah, there was like a little water hole down here. And yeah, there was only like two or three of them. Not completely flooded. I thought summer in Alice Springs would be just so dry, 40 degrees every day. But there's actually so much water. Like it's more wet now than it was in winter time a couple of years ago, so. Yeah, yeah, and a lot more water around too. Yeah. I'm gonna leave Chelsea down there and I'm gonna go for a little rock hop and explore down here and see what I can find. The 
drive out here today was really cool. There was a couple of water crossings on the way out. The big thing to remember is when there's water over the road, make sure you walk it first or it can end really badly. Just the other week, there was a guy that lost his car when the Todd River flooded and that was bloody hectic. So yeah, just make sure you're careful. I'll see if I can get a response from Chelsea. No, she didn't want to do it. Damn. Cool. Hey, there it is. Got one back. And there she is, all the way down there. Hey, Charles. Charles. Hello. <laughs> Might have to zoom in a bit. Hey, Charles. Reckon you can catch a GoPro? Ready? <laughs> Since you did such a good job catching the GoPro, you reckon you could catch me? <laughs> <laughs> Another awesome little swimming spot is Glen Helen. It's only about five minutes up the road from Ormiston Gorge. And have a look at this. So nice. It'd be really nice if you had some kayaks and could bring them down. Because I think it goes all the way through these rocks. That's right, we're gonna bring noodles and go for a paddle. Oh yeah, go for a swim tomorrow. Sounds good to me. It is a little bit of a walk on some rough rocks. Glen Helen Caravan Park's just got some new owners. It's the Discovery Park, but you can just drive straight in. There's a visitor parking area so you can come in and enjoy this lovely little bit of the national park. Just about straight across the road from Glen Helen is the Fink River two mile camp. Uh, it's a bit rocky and uh, a bit average getting in, but I mean, it's easily doable. There's a few caravans here, but I reckon they would have been pooping their pants last night because you can see here how the water level's risen up just overnight, and I think it was a bit higher. But with the rain that Alice Springs has had lately, I don't think I would like to be camping down here. You'd just be stressing the whole time that the water levels are gonna rise or another big rain and a big flood or so. Even at Ormiston where we're staying, you can see where the water's ripped through and like it's a good meter, meter and a half higher than what the water level is. Yeah, I wouldn't feel too comfortable camping here in the start of summer when there's rain around. It is really nice though. Pretty sure all of this area here was flooded when they had their big floods a week ago because you can see everything sort of laying flat down. And the big piles of the Big reeds. piles of reeds and stuff built up and check out this tree. I think it normally grows a bit straighter than that. But he's been pushed over. Yeah, yeah. try and straighten him up. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's a great spot in the dry, in the middle of uh, winter, but come summertime when there's a bit of rain around, no thank you. We're back at Ormonston now and having a bit of an afternoon sesh overlooking the gorge. Cheers. How good. Well, that's a good angle. Oh, thanks. How's me, how's me twerking? Uh, you need a little bit more practice, I reckon. Oh, that's rough. What do they say? Don't quit your day job. Oh, that's rough. See so your plumbers crack it up? No, and we don't want to. Does it look good up there? Yeah, it looks wicked. In the Northern Territory, to fly a drone in the national parks, you've got to get a permit first. So you just hit up the National Parks uh, Northern Territory website and send in a form. It takes about a day to get back and they'll let you, they'll tell you where you can and can't fly and give you any information on it. But you do have to be super careful when there's lots of water around and through the gorges because you get rubbish GPS signal and you're actually just flying blind because it's just going to go wherever it wants to. This morning we're doing the ghost gun walk. It takes you up to the lookout, which looks over the swimming area, and then you can loop around and then drop crawl through the gorge to get back. 
We had an awesome sleep last night. It was such a nice, cool night for a change um, because free camping lately hasn't been too fun. But in here, I think it must just be the breeze rips through the gorge and yeah, it was yeah. beautiful. It was so cool, had everything open, it was really good. That's what we're doing, go scum walk. And I'm not keen about the cold water. No, I think we should be able to hop over it. We shouldn't have to go through it. Hopefully. You well, might need to help me get over the rocks. Well, I won't have to go through it. You might have to go through <laughs> it. <laughs> God bless our legs. Time for a bit of smoke up at the lookout. It's been like 10 minutes. Yeah, it doesn't take long to get up here. It says 30 minutes, but it only took us about 10. And then the rest of the walk is you float along the top here, come down, you drop into the gorge, and then you've got to make your way all the way back along the gorge and out. But you can see that the water level has dropped already since yesterday. Yeah, just down here, you can see it's already dropped like, I don't know, 200 mil. Doesn't take long. We've got to the part where you're meant to swim across the gorge and it's super deep. There was some big fish down there too. I reckon we're gonna have to follow the track back the way we just came and then go across the rocks up there because this is way too deep and we've got the backpack so. We're on our way out to Red Bank Gorge and there's a few water crossings on the way out here still and yeah we've heard really good things so we're pretty excited to go have a look. It was a two kilometre walk to Red Bank Gorge from the car park. Did take us a little while as it's a bit rocky through the creek and sandy. Wasn't that great of a walking track. It's more just make your own track as you're going. But it did open up into this beautiful oasis. Bryce is more of the adventurous type. So he's swum through these rocks and he's going to go find some other rock pools and potentially a couple of waterfalls. Whereas I'm just more comfortable sitting here and soaking up the sun. It's about 28 degrees today, so it is perfect. And I'm not wearing sunscreen in the fresh water either. So that's another thing I thought I'd mention. If you are swimming in fresh water holes and you don't want to get burnt, make sure to wear like a rash top or something, because otherwise if you do wear sunscreen, it just creates this really greasy um, marks across the top of the water. It's like a gross film and yeah, it just destroys the fresh water swimming holes. Here he comes. So how was it down there? Was it worth the swim? It was definitely worth the swim, but I'd like to take like a noodle or something with me just to make it a bit easier. You go in and it starts getting quite narrow and all this, like you got the cliffs over the top of you and yeah, it's really cool as you're like cruising down, but unfortunately I didn't take the GoPro with me. So you guys have to come and check it out yourselves. Heading down for a morning coffee and maybe a swim. It's a bit chilly this morning. Who would have thought in November or late November that it would be like 20 degrees in the morning. It's only been getting up to like 27 and getting down to like 13 overnight. So it's been wicked camping out here at the moment while we haven't had the aircon or anything. So it's great.
On our way out of the West Max today, we are gonna pop into Ellery Creek Big Hole and go for a swim. You can camp there as well, but we do prefer Ormiston Gorge over that campground. Ellery Creek is meant to be full of water as well, so it should be really nice swimming. This is meant to be the turn off to Ellery Creek, but there's roadworks and we can't go down there. What a shame. How annoying is that? Yeah, I know. We were really looking forward to going back there because that was one of our favourite spots last time. And it would have looked so good, full of water and everything, but oh well. Oh no. Got the fuel light on and Bryce is adamant that we're going to make it to Alice yeah, Springs. We've got 10, 10 k's to go and I reckon we'll be fine. Chelsea is starting to get a little bit panicked, but we do have two jerry cans on the back, but... Are I mean, you being lazy? You can't make it out. I can, I can make 10 more k's. <laughs> oh, so we'll see. I said if he, if he runs out of fuel, I'm filming it, so... Yeah, I could be in a bit of strife here. 1.6 k's. Are we going to make it? Yeah, I reckon we got this in the bag. I'm actually sweaty, like my palms are clammy. Things we arms are heavy. Because <laughs> if we fall over here, what happens if we break down around this roundabout? Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I feel like if we come to a stop, we might not start again. Hurry up! <laughs> <laughs> we were always going to make it. Nothing to worry about at all. So it's a 75 litre tank. Let's see how many litres we actually used up. And <laughs> now we're much better left. <laughs> so it turns out we had nothing to worry about. Well, Chelsea had nothing to worry about. We still had 11 litres and yeah, we could have gone back and forth again. It would have been sweet. There's something real stinky coming from this side of the car. Just trying to see if we've hit a few birds recently. Like while we're driving around, they just keep flying on the road. Oh, I think I found it. Yeah. Is yeah. it a bird? Yeah, it's a bird. No, I won't show you this just because... Might be a bit graphic. <laughs> yeah, YouTube will give us a strike for that. Oh no, we picked up a budgie. Aww. Yeah, it's really bad. When we were driving out to the east and the west max, there were so many budgies just on the side of the road and then when you drive past them, they all fly. And I reckon we might have hit like 20 over the last few days. No, you hit about 20. Yeah, I hit majority of them. But there's nothing you can do. They just fly out right in front of you and you don't even have time to break. So that's where the stank's coming from. Yeah, that's the smell. Yuck. So you always say you want a pet bird. Well, we've got one, essentially. No, I want one that's alive. Oh, oh that's a shame. And how are you going to get it out? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm thinking we might just leave him and he'll just come out. And when no, he's it come smells out. every time we walk over here. All right. I'll get him out. Thanks for watching another video guys. Hope you've enjoyed this one of us traveling out of peak and through the West McDonald Ranges. If you've liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Take it easy.